Welcome back to Fox 10 News at 4. You know, last month, Fox 10 teamed up with the Mobile Police Department, Senior Bowl, Naaman's Catering, and Bumhauer's for a dinner event that we called In Search of Creole. It was a fundraiser for officers Sean Tudor and Clayton Graham and the community just showing up big time to support the officers. So today we have a presentation for their families. It's a check with the money that was raised from that fundraiser. And we also have Officer Sean Tudor's widow, Chrissy, here. And we have uh, Officer Clayton Graham's wife, Tamika, in the house as well. And we have Mobile Police Chief Lawrence Batiste and the Public Safety Director, James Barber, the Senior Bowl Executive Director, Jim Maggie, Bob Bumhauer from Bumhauer Victory Grill, and Alec Naiman from Naiman's Catering. So a lot of people here, it's a special interview because this was a special occasion. Yes. Gosh, I don't know who I want to start with first because both of you guys play such important pieces. No one jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> so I will start with you. What did this mean to have the community continue to support our officers? You know, let me tell you, the, the amount of support we saw for our, from the community for mm -hmm. these officers has been immense, uh, but it's exactly what officers need to see today yeah. because they have to have the support of the community in order to do their jobs mm -hmm. and do it well. Mm -hmm. And, I'm, you know, we're fortunate, I think, in the Mobile community yes. that we do have such a community that does care about their police officers. Uh, but a tough year and a half we've seen for mm -hmm. the Mobile Police Department. I'm glad that you said that because just maybe a week ago there was a story where an officer received a note from a woman who just left it on his patrol car and said thank you and he talked about what that meant to him. Chief, can you talk about, you know, just having that support? I mean, you guys are out there on the lines day in, day out. Well, you know, I say it all the time that uh, this community, I, I, if I had to police any place else in the world, mm -hmm. I, I don't know that I would, but Mobile, Alabama is, is the place to police. The, the community always supports what we do. Yeah. Uh, and the officers, uh, it, it really uplifts the officer spirit mm -hmm. to know that they have the support of the community. Uh, in tough times, and even when times are, are going really good, you know, there's somebody always saying, thank you for, for what right. you do. And so uh, we're glad we don't just see it in times of tragedy, but mm -hmm. we see it on a daily basis. All right. So I'm looking at this check here, and that's a lot of money. What oh, is yeah. this? I mean, when you saw that, <laughs> yes. you know what I mean? What's your reaction? Um, it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing. Um, and Officer Graham couldn't be with us today. Mm -hmm unfortunately, but he sent a note and I would like to read oh, it very yes. quickly. Um, it says, hello everyone. I'm sorry I cannot be with you this afternoon. I had all intentions of being there, but could not make it. I am so grateful and thankful to all of you have supported, who have supported my family and me. To Mr. Baumhauer, Safety Director Barbara, Barber, Police Chief Baptiste and Godwin, Alex Naiman of Naiman's Catering, and Mr. Jim, and the Reese's Senior Bowl ambassadors and other businesses. Thank you for a beautiful and successful fundraiser. Mm -hmm. I have received great support from family, friends, the community, and especially Pastors Norvell Glover and Matthew Johnson and Mr. Cozy Brown. I am grateful to God for my health and have always had a good way to go and I will continue and I will work vigilant on my recovery. So thank you all for your blessings mm. and continue to pray for me. There you go. Yes, so he is grateful and I hope that he is watching. Um, Officer Graham, he went to the doctor today. Unfortunately, he was hurting and I don't know if he's watching, mm -hmm. um, but they are continuing to try to help him and get the pain management under control. And so that's good. And he just thanks everyone yeah. for the support. Mm -hmm. Everyone has been really, really good. Um, and it's just a blessing. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing for not only him, but for me, for the children, mm -hmm. you know, to get that support. Yes. Speaking of children, you know, we, we've reported on it several times about how Officer Tudor liked to have a teddy bear in his patrol car. Yes. And how that is living on. People are carrying on that tradition. 
What do you think he would say if, if he were here? Would this surprise him? Yeah, this would absolutely yeah. surprise him. Yeah, I mean, the amount of positive acts that have come out of one negative act has really helped me stay positive and yes. all the support has been amazing. This was a wonderful event. It was really nice and the food was delicious. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was really good. Oh, you gave me a good segue there. Thank you. So, Mr. Naaman, your food was good? Well, uh, he did a lot of the cooking. Yeah. Okay, I so did Steve, a lot who of the gets singing. the credit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was dancing involved. Well, you know, somebody got a slip and slide. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, all right. So it, it was certainly an honor for us to yeah. all be together and all to participate. It certainly was a, a joint venture, if mm -hmm. you might say. But lifting people up is, I think, the mission of Bob, Steve, and everybody here, Jim. Mm -hmm. uh, we took it upon ourselves to... Uh, to want to do something for someone else. It's certainly not the first time and it probably won't be our last time. Yeah, and Jim, they say the best way to get people together is to either have food or sports. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's very true. And we wanted to be involved because the Mobile Police does so much for our game, mm -hmm. you know, just from getting our players to and from the hotel right. to the stadium and, and everything during the week and all the events we have. And it really impacted our week. We had a lot of players coming up. I mean, they saw it all. They saw it on TV. So a lot of players coming up asking about the family, and, and we just we wanted to be a part of this some some way. So we were. We just thank everyone out that everyone else that was involved. Okay, so it, it wasn't that difficult then, would you say? No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was a joy, and yeah. you know, talking about blessings, the Graham family and the Tudor family are blessings to all of us. That this was just a small way for us to show them that we are thinking about them and we appreciate them. They've not been forgotten. We appreciate their entire family and what they do for all of us, you know, to keep us safe. I, I think we take that for granted a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was just a small way for us to uh, team up, a team, you know, you're talking about food and sports. Yeah. And uh, everybody did a great job, and it was just a whole lot of fun to be there. And the goal would be to, to continue this, I mean, hopefully under different circumstances but it's the camaraderie it's the support that we want to continue well you would hope so and, and you know the the folks that made this happen were the folks that came to the event the folks of mobile right. you know the people of mobile are the ones that supported this and gave That's us right. the ability to share this and so they can't be forgotten either with it you know they did a great job supporting us because they care about their families and, and they do think of, they're thinking about their families yeah so as the public safety director What's next? What's what's the mission for you? You know, the mission is uh, always <clears throat> remember the incredible sacrifices made by the by these officers and by our first responders in general. And what a fitting day today being the 18th anniversary right. of September the 11th. Mm -hmm. You know, 343 firefighters died in that event, as well as 60 police officers. Mm -hmm. uh, but we should never forget the incredible sacrifice, the bravery that the men and women, the first responders, right. uh, and be so fortunate mm -hmm. that we have people that are willing to answer that call. It's not easy, and yeah, you're absolutely right. Willing to step up and, and do the job. I wanted to make sure that I gave all of you an opportunity to, to say something. Anyone else want to add anything else? No, I mean, just again, it was, it was really all pleasure and all honor to be able to do this. And, uh, and again, the support of everybody, you know, all the community, uh, all over Mobile that helped contribute to the silent option and then all of the people that came to to help do this event was just pretty special. So. Okay, all right, thank you Steve from, from Dolphins of course and that's where this was held. Um, I thank you all for stopping by and for participating in this event. It was awesome. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank, yeah. Thank, thank, you. You. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. And listen, we are going to have this posted, this entire check presentation on our YouTube page so you can look at it shortly. Share it with someone. Maybe you know an officer in a different state who needs to see the support that is there for our men and women in blue. I mean, more than $15,000 raised for the support of the families of the officers who serve and protect every day. We'll be right back. <laughs>